The following is a special presentation of the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, alternating the reality of sports and entertainment since 2020. Welcome to another installment of the PWT main event. Big Polly coming to you this February 27, 2022, a Sunday. And we have a rematch from six days ago on the timeline. John Pezik and Vladik Zabisco. Zabisco's last chance to win the world title a second time uh, from Pezik. He was the first champion in PWT that we crowned back in late December of last year. So he will get another crack at it. He took Pezik 48 minutes, uh, was leading Pezik most of the way, and then Pezik found a way to get the pin. So we will have that match for you. We will go through our list of champions, which has changed, which has changed since we have been here last. What do you think the change would be? Just speculate a little bit, and I'll be back in 15 seconds right after this commercial break. If you like the video you're watching, feel free to use the Amazon link provided. I'll put it in the description down below. And there you see it, folks. We have brand new World Tag Team Champions taking place yesterday in the timeline in Mexico City. The Briscoe Brothers upending the... A uh, team of Pat Patterson and Ray Stevens. So we have our second, second reign in the World Tag Team Division. So they will hit the road. They will head to New York, probably have a battle with the Road Warriors. Of course, they were both a babyface and a heel team, so they'll take on all comers. Uh, and the Road Warriors were also a babyface and a heel team. So should they be the champions, they'll take on anybody and everybody. Before we set up our main event, let's just hit OK, because everything is OK. Pezik is defending the title, so he'll be taking a few liberties here and there. On our undercard, Otto Wans and Bert Azarati. Azarati was a well-known shooter back in the 50s. Lou Fez challenged him to a match. Azarati was a guy who liked to cripple people in the ring, and Azarati wanted no part of Fez, because Fez could probably outshoot him. Wands winning 714 power power slam, running power slam. Another grudge match. So these matches went 45 minutes in time or could go a maximum of 45. It was Billy Robinson winning by DQ. Kendo Nagasaki was the opponent. Bert Azarati interfered. And I forgot to put a T between the A and the last I. So I shall do that now. The British Bulldogs over Mr. Uganda and Pak Song. That went to 45-minute time limit because they went, met last month and went to a draw. George Kidd and Crusher Verdue. This kicked off a couple of feuds as Kidd and Verdue. Uh, Nagasaki jumped Kidd and Wans jumped Verdue. So you'll see my max, max description uh, for the Delphi board and on the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims Facebook page. So, Kid will probably get Kendo Nagasaki, and Wins will probably get Purdue. Roland Bach and Wes Florenton went to a 30-minute draw. So, now we are set for our main event of the evening. John Pezik, Wadix Zabisco will take the day off tomorrow, set things up administrative-wise, and probably do a little ratings uh, rankings watch uh, when we come back for our March 2nd card which will be whoever wins this against a defender in toronto we dropped the top contenders series but we're going to add an out of sequence title defense for all three champions and should the title change like for instance if Pezik loses the title we'll have uh if and they go to that out of sequence again we'll just put like uh like Pezik say Pezik has to face dick hutton in north texas well if uh, a babyface wins the title then we would just have a, a heel battle the champion 
in, in its place. So it'll, it'll be a bonus title defense. So 10 title defenses a month for everybody. And you see there the hold trade, the trades, uh, trading of holds. By the way, we use Wrestling's Finest, 3.5. Tom Vogel uh, created this game and has had some kind words for me on the Delphi group. Thank you, Tom. And off we go. One more time, Pezik against Vladik for the world's title, the PWT. And off we go. It's illegal punches to start us off for Vladik Zabisco. Auto control loss. Pile driver by Pezik. Very low odds that would score a pin, but not impossible. Leg hold by Pezik. Illegal punches. Speed moves. Illegal punches. Leg hold. I think Zabisco competed in an era where air travel was not, you know, a big thing. If somebody wanted to go outside of his own continent to compete, they probably had to take a boat over. Legal throw. No pin. Pin hold. A small package here for Pezik. Body slam for Zabisco. A nine. He needed a one or under. No action. Illegal punches by Pezik and a leg hold. Auto control loss. Zabisco 1-3-1. One, one. Pezik 9-1-1 one one in his PWT career. That includes his shooter card and the Pioneer card, which we used, which makes him a little more beatable. Power move by Pezik. Toe hold and an arm lock combination. No. Got to a two count, but Zabisco kicked out at three. Headlock by Pezik. Pezik doing, uh, I would guess, pretty well in the early going. Oh, yeah, he's already up almost 100 points. Auto control loss and a couple. Arm hold by Pezik. Neck hold by Sabisco. Whip to the ropes by Sabisco and a forearm. And Pezik doesn't even stay down for a one count there. Auto control loss. A speed move for John Pezik. Nice drop kick and a leg drop and a leg hold. And choking by Sabisco. To counter, but Zabisco already way behind in that match. To my recollection, when we had the match Monday, Zabisco led almost all the way uh, through the bout, but Pezik was able to score the pin. A kick by Pezik. So, like I said, he's doing much better in this bout than he did in the bout in, where was it? Los Angeles, I believe it was. Illegal punches, no action, legal throw. So our next stop will be Toronto. Whoever wins uh, the title here will face uh, a top Toronto contender. If it's Pezik, it'll be a top uh, babyface. If it's Zabisco, it'll be a top heel. Legal throw. Nice arm drag and twist by Pezik. Leg hold by Pezik. And another one just taking his time, looking for the openings. He's up 129 points. So there's no need to hurry. Wants to give the fans their money's worth. Headbutt countered by Zabisco. No, that was a headbutt by Zabisco countered by Pezik. I beg your pardon. Small package. Didn't get the three count there, but it had very low odds. About 7.5% if it got to a two count. That that would happen. A headlock by Zabisco. No action. Choking. Blatant choking by the referee. But they're going to call for a pin. No. So we've had two attempts by Zabisco. Eight by Pezik, who has been outworking Zabisco. Maybe he's got a little jet lag in him, because in his era, they probably didn't fly. Pezik decides to use punches. Legal forearm. Body scissors countered by Pezik. Pezik using punches. Would like to get a win here to put away Zabisco. Almost got it there after a forearm to the nose. Zabisco might be having a little trouble breathing. That was a well-placed shot. By Pezik, we're 2120 into the bout. A bear hug. Don't think he'll get Zabisco on that because these, it's a zero on the three count. And again, a bear hug attempt. Double wrist lock. And Zabisco now moving up some fatigue levels. It's Pezik almost putting on a flawless performance up to this point in the bout. Inside cradle. No, it uh, Zabisco kicking out at one, and a, a legal, not an illegal chop, and a kick. Cobra, Cobra hold on Pezik, but Zabisco escapes that before too long. Illegal punches by Pezik. 
Pezik sticking and moving Zabisco a little bit as we cross the 25-minute mark. The only man to score a win over Pezik was Dick Hutton. No action. Illegal choking by Pezik. And an arm hold. And a neck hold. Cranking that neck on Zabisco a little bit. Power move by Pezik, which was a slam. Counter hold. Legal headbutt. Legal throw by Pezik. And back to Zabisco with a slam of his own. Zabisco's really got to get lucky here. Rough hard headlock. Had Pezik stunned a little bit, but Pezik is up 206 points. The election services are declaring him the winner. Uh, <laughs> Zabisco with another power move, mulling Pezik in the corner. No action. And we have reached the halfway point. We're at 30 10. 30 minutes and 10 seconds gone by. We've got 29.50 left to go. A draw wouldn't be too bad for Zabisco, but he wouldn't win the title. Throat stomp on Pezik by Sabisco. Legal punches. I don't think Pezik will be able to talk for a week. Illegal punches. Arm drag takedown by Vladik. Pezik comes back. A series of body punches. And again, Sabisco beginning to fatigue even the more at 32-19 into the bout. Chair shot. Oh, a chair shot to the head by Sabisco. He's desperate to try to win the title because he knows he probably won't get a, a chance at it or chances at it like this for a long time. So he's putting, he's letting it all hang out here. A throw by Zabisco, choking. Boston Crab, but that cannot score a submission, will play on. Another choke maneuver by Zabisco. Uh, Pezik comes back. Quickness and speed by him. Zabisco cut the deficit down to 147 points. A headlock as we cross the 35-minute mark. 25 left to go. Series of punches by Pezik. Does not get the pinfall there. Zabisco's only win was against Christian Cage in an earlier bout. Legal throw by Pezik, followed by an eye gouge. Punches by Pezik. Another big punch. That one landed straight on the jaw and some choking of his own here by Pezik. He's getting fed up. And he got the pin off of it. He got the pin off of some illegal choking, and that is it. Pezik successfully defending his title. The match went four and a half stars. So Europe will pick up somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 points, trading points. Uh, and they didn't use any to acquire anybody. Time of the fall, 37 minutes, 32 seconds, a four and a half star bout. And we ended with Pezik being ahead 188 points. So that wraps this up, this episode of PWT. We will be back Tuesday. Uh, no, actually... It'll be Wednesday is March 2nd. Wednesday is March 2nd. So we will be back then uh, with our next uh, PWT main event. It'll be Pezik against somebody from the Toronto circuit. So this has been Big Polly coming to you. Wishing you all well. Godspeed. God bless. We'll do it all again soon. We should be back Wednesday uh, unless Pesic has to make a shot in New York, in which case we'll be back Tuesday and we'll do two days. I don't know yet because I haven't compiled the rankings. But anyway, so long for now, everybody. Take care.